Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a dress stand in Katia V5. So in my previous parts of the tutorial I've already shown all uh, how you can create all these different parts here and uh, the only thing remaining is these, uh, these stands and uh, these fasteners, screws and uh, washers and nuts etc. So let's see how we can go ahead right now. So switch back to the work file and once you're on the work file make sure that you are on the product mode double click the product and once you're on the product mode just go for insert new part and click on the main product and name the part as uh, the main holders okay and click on the yes so that you uh, don't have uh, extra planes and uh, double click on the part body and once you double click on the part body you get the part file and now <coughs> what you can do is select the sketcher and select this plane so you can start sketching you are going to sketch a guide which can be used to create uh, the rib command so basically you could do that by just uh, I'm just seeing my stand over here dress stand and I'm making the sketch so you could just uh, do the sketch as I do here that's it now use the shame for command I'll just select this point here else you can use a chamfer command and just do a little chamfer and uh, do a little chamfer here also because we don't really have to have uh, sharp curvatures come out and that's our first first part now select this line go for planes and select this point so that you get the plane over there now go for generative shape design workbench and go for circle center point this is a support and go for a full circle of uh, radius a very very small radius just click on the preview and go for rib command you could change that radius later if you want go for the rib command and select the circle select this twist, twisted configuration how could it be select the circle go for the rib command select the guide curve and select a profile and center curve lead to a twist configuration use a center curve with a smaller curvature okay that's fine so you need to edit the sketch here or else just decrease the radius to point zero zero five Okay, that's really small I think. Point zero zero nine. Okay. I just like this, go for rib. And you got the rib over there. That still looks bigger than this one. So what was the radius which we have used over there? Bad. So the the diameter was point zero one five. So you could use the same thing over here. If diameter is point zero one five, what is the radius? Simple. Divided by two. Point zero zero seven five. So just come here. here 
0.0015 oh my goodness 0 0.0075 0075 okay now what you can do is select this just hide this plane select the circle here and create a point with respect to that circle and select this point here go for transformation no just similarly create another point here and click on OK and now I think uh, this particular part of the tutorial is over because uh, the beginners can't really uh, you know follow these many steps at a time so just comment below the video if you have any doubt on whatever step I have followed and uh, let's see what we can do in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching and stay tuned